Hi, welcome to my very first video in the new studio. Oh, I'm really excited about it. Um, hopefully in coming videos, I'll have the brown floor covered. <laughs> and I'm planning on doing either having the whole wall back here covered in pins um, or probably like at least over the desk be my pin boards that I need to bring. I have to do it over the weekend. I don't want to like be nailing stuff to the wall when my neighbors are here. <laughs> um, and maybe some kind of mural situation right here because I want to do at least three murals that are like different enough to have different backdrops, but also similar enough to kind of work together. Um, but I thought it'd be really fun to use the wall space that I have. So that's exciting. But today I wanted to try a new kind of video. Um, I am inspired by Katie of Royalty Soaps. She makes amazing soap videos that I got super hooked on in the middle of quarantine. And I was able to make my own soap, which is exciting. I have some, um, not stories, but uh, IGTVs uh, about some of my soap stuff that I made, um, if you want to check that out on Instagram. But I love how she'll talk about her soap, her inspirations, and then just make it. So I thought it would be fun to do the same sort of thing, um, but with seconds grading, because I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with gauging seconds and I thought it would be fun to just kind of go through some seconds and grade them, have a chat and yeah, just kind of film while I'm doing something that I always need to do. Um, I've been having my sister come and help me with packaging, but I'm still like, I'm still a little too type A <laughs> to let anyone else grade. <laughs> Um, but if I, if I teach, if I make kind of standard operating procedures around it, then I can teach someone else to do it and that'll be great. But for right now, I'm still grading my pins and that's fine. So today we are going to look at the next month's pin club. So February, 2021 pin club pins. So it's about time to reveal anyway. So here are the cat's meow. Isn't that sweet? Just a couple little hearts. And it's really great for, I don't know, self affirmations or to give to someone that you really like. So I will be grading these. Yeah, that's the plan. So let's grade some pins. Okay, I think this is a good setup. I've got my debagged pins here. So all of my bags come in tiny little Ziploc bags. Not ideal. Um, sometimes you can ask your manufacturers to um, not send them in bags. I know there's issues with, um, sometimes in with tissue paper, customs will say that they're importing garbage, which is like, not true. Like how is that garbage? And um, you know, tiny plastic bags not, but who knows? Uh, some of them put it on styrofoam, but I did a smidgen of research and correct me if I'm wrong, internet, but I found a thing that said that you could recycle Ziploc bags in the same place that you recycle um, plastic grocery bags. So like outside your grocery store, they'll have a little spot where you can um, put your, your old plastic bags. So. I've been doing that. I know there is some contention around whether or not things that we say are getting recycled are getting recycled. So if anyone has uh, extra information, please put that in the link below, link in the comments below, because I want to know. Um, so far, these are looking pretty great. So when I look at my seconds, I like to look, always look around the edges because sometimes it can be missing plating here or just have little scuffs and scratches. I look for anything on the outline. So this one looks like something happened there. It looks like the 
I want to say pigment and that is so wrong. Plating <laughs> didn't adhere. So I don't know if you can see. I'm using my phone still, so I don't know. But right here on the edge, you can see. Ooh, wow, it would help if I put that there. So right here on the edge, I don't like it. It's not a clean edge. So things that I know 100% are seconds. I'm not going to sell them at full price. We'll go in a little bucket. And then ones that I'm not quite sure about, I'll put them over here and then I'll go back and review and see if I'm being way too picky, like literally no one else on the planet will see that. Um, or <laughs> if they're like absolutely no go. So the absolutely no go ones I put in here. I don't think about them again. I don't go back and look through them. I trust myself that I know what I'm talking about because I do. And the only ones I go back and look through are these. So I've got another second sorting video that you can check out if you're interested. You can see a lot more detail. I've got like two cameras going on that one. It's pretty good, I think. Um, let's see, this one also has a lot of screen printing. So I'm checking to make sure nothing is scratched um, or missing in the screen printing. So it's actually got three colors. I've got the light pink, the white, and the red. So that's pretty fun. And then we've got the glitter. I'm not actually super picky about the glitter because yes, sometimes there will be stray pieces of like darker color glitter and it's just part of the process. And I think I've only had one person complain ever in the history of my shop about a stray piece of glitter and it was actually it was a little funky so it's like a big giant thing of black and i don't really know in the middle of like a pink thing um i don't really know how i missed that one but i'm human oh yeah i don't like that um but yeah so this one's fun this is obviously valentine's themed I didn't have um, a huge Valentine collection this year, so um, I thought it would be fun. I usually celebrate a little bit of Valentine's with the pin club anyway. So if you want to look through my other kind of uh, February releases, you can see that. These are actually looking pretty good. So. I have started to get a little more flexible with my seconds um, because at first it was like it's got to be 10% or less when I first started out and then I kind of bumped it up to 20% and then I sort of bumped it up to 30% so as I learned um, kind of what I was looking for, the consistency that my manufacturers give me, um, then I kind of know. Like I have one manufacturer that I really love. It's this one that I use for the pin club because he has a quicker turnaround. And um, I love the glitter. Obviously the glitter is really great. And he'll mix special glitters for me. Like this one has some red and some iridescent in it, which is really cool. So you can really see the glitter on top of the red. Um, but he can have a higher seconds rate. So I just have to think about that um, and order a little bit more. I just have that expectation because I've worked with them for so long. Um, and I know that I can have second sales and still recoup my costs. So the margin per pin is a little bit less when you have higher seconds, obviously, but I also like to weigh my time because if I have a whole bunch of seconds, then you have to take the time to reach back out to manufacturers and then have like days long conversations. You've got to take pictures of all of the messed up ones. And if they are absolutely horrible and you cannot resell them, 100% reach out and take that time. Um, but if they are a little bit flawed and just a few more than what you expect, I don't know that it's worth my time to go through all of that. So I usually just kind of let it be <laughs> like the Beatles. 
see, this is not, yeah, that's fine. And since you are the creator, and a lot of artists have really good attention to detail, we are always going to be pickier about our end product. I had someone tell me that um, their manufacturer told them they were pickier than Disney. <laughs> Isn't that great? I'd be like, thank you. <laughs> I do care about my work. Gosh, these are cute. I'm just so happy at how cute these are. Um, I don't know that I'm going to chat with you the entire time. I'm trying to figure out how I want to structure these videos. But, I mean, you can see how long I'm really taking. It's not, it's not really that long <laughs> per pen. Oh, let's see, look at this. I don't know if you can see. It's missing a little bit of the plating right there. Right in the junk bin. Right in the junk bin. Get out of here. But also get ready for a second sale. Probably have a second sale. Um, beginning of February. Um, just so I can get these seconds in here too. Since I've got the gnome pen club as well. I usually have one in January, but... I'm still kind of like I started planning out my year and then I spent the first couple of weeks moving in to the studio. So I really feel like I kind of lost some time there. I mean, I've got the basic big things like big dates, big orders on the calendar, but um, more of the day to day stuff. I don't know. I like to do like the big dates since we have to work so far in advance with holidays and um, manufacture timing and all that kind of stuff. It's weird. I always feel like I'm living like six months ahead <laughs> of the world. But um, because of that, I like to get the big, big dates down. And then... Um, and then go in and do like a more detailed quarterly plan, which is something I learned from my coach, my own business coach. Let's see, do I care about that? No, I don't. Um, and that's been really helpful because then I can go in and plan my weeks, my days, my tasks, all of that. And uh, I spent some time yesterday well, my sister was in the other room packing orders and helping me organize. Um, I worked in socially distant, masked the entire time, not messing around. Um, and I spent a lot of the time getting everything into Asana. Do you guys use Asana at all? Or like any kind of Trello or um, just kind of time management? Uh, project management tools because I have been a fan of Asana for a long time and getting everything organized in my business has been incredible so I have like recurring tasks that I have going so every time I complete it it'll show up like the next time I need to do it which is amazingly helpful and uh, I can get the big stuff on the calendar. Ooh, we got a little. Do you see the screen print ink? Got a little squirrely there. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Um, but yeah, I love Asana. So if you are interested in productivity apps and things like that, let me know because I can take you through kind of how I organize mine. I took Louise Henry's e-course and then, um, and that works really well for course creators and stuff like that. But um, since I do have a course, Enamel Pins 101, um, there's a link below, <laughs> I have to plug. Um, but for the actual shop, I had to do something different because there's so many more 
things to consider like release date versus design date um, and then all of the different tasks and um, needs for kind of releasing products so um, if you're interested let me know in the comments I don't know if this is let me know if you like this video too I don't know if this is useful but yeah, I think I'll probably speed it up now and give you a little bit of music. One thing I will say is that when you are grading your stuff, make sure you're in a well-lit area with natural light because there are a lot of issues with gold plating in particular that you won't see under um, artificial light. So like the, the room over there um, is all artificial light. Like it's bright and it's kind of like a daylight bright white light, which is really nice. That's why one of the reasons I picked this office. But something about it like it's so even you can't like see the shine on things and can't see certain um kind of imperfections at least i found that in my case so i have big bright windows over there and it's really really helpful okay back to fast <laughs> doing all of these myself I am going to let my sister slash fulfillment manager <laughs> um, handle this for me because it is a lot a lot a lot a lot of pins and um, one thing I found that when you get someone to help you with doing um, quality checking get a perfect one and then one that's not quite as perfect, but still totally fine and have those kind of be your gauge for them. And then they can know like, oh, if it's real funky, then get out of here. Like if you have one that's super funky as an example to show them too, so they can kind of compare. So here's the final cutie pie. Where are the cats meow? And um, another thing, we've got the Gnome Adventure Guild now, and we have our very first tiny dinomes. Ooh, look at him. Look at him. I love this guy. Um, so I do the gnomes with my husband, Andy. He uh, draws them, and then I get them uh, kind of ready for manufacture and do the color palettes. So I am really, really happy with how this cutie comes out. This one is going to be quality checked the same way the cat's meow was. Um, I was going to film it, but it really does take, it takes a while to quality check. <laughs> um, but if you like this video, let me know. Um, I'm happy to chat and check seconds anytime with you. Um, I think it's fun. You get to keep me company while I do something that's kind of mind numbing, but also very, very important. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you think and be sure to check out the pin clubs. If you head over to the pink samurai.com, you'll see info on the cat pin club, all cat related all the time, every month. And then the dino, dino, the gnome adventure guild. Woo. Um, so yeah, join the guild, join the club, all that good stuff. Tell me what you think about this video and yeah, have a fantastic day and I'll see you later. Bye.